Good morning, I'm back. I had to finish that workout and kind of collect myself a little bit before I could come back up here and talk to you guys. I hope somebody joins us. I'm here to answer any questions. We'll wait a little bit. I had to take my hair wrap down because I did it really tight and it was like hurting my ears. So this is me right now. I had to take the hair down, collected myself a little bit um, and uh, we're done. All of the test group people that started um, to do the, that were selected, the 300 coaches that were selected to be in the test group for the shift shop, the new workout that's going to be coming out from Beachbody in July by the new trainer, Chris Downing. We are done today. Today is the last day, day 20 of round one. Tomorrow there's like stretching and mobility um, and we actually send in our official results for the last three weeks um, and just show how, you know, these 300 coaches took this workout and did it at home and the results. If you've seen some of my posts, some of the results, some of the ladies in this test group had, I mean, jaw dropping results. I loved the workout. I love Chris. It's a good thing he is so adorable because he just keeps you pushing. I had really good results, not as extreme as some of the other test group participants, but I know I have gotten stronger. And really what matters is how I was on day one versus day 20. And I know that I got stronger. I know I have um, really gotten control of a lot of my food things and know that I can, you know, I don't need to eat the little leftovers over here. I don't need to have a cocktail, you know, when it's Wednesday or wine day or whatever. So, I mean, I had a lot of good things that help and internally my mind shift, like just, you know, feeling stronger, doing the workouts. Like, I've been so used to doing 30 minute you know, workouts, and so it was kind of scary when it went up to 45, but that was no, I mean, the workouts were a challenge, but I mean, to make the time to get that workout in was not an issue. It was kind of scary thinking like, oh my God, no carbs, like no yellows. Really got through it, still had energy, like took about two or two days, three days to get it back, but feeling amazing after that. Um, next week, um, I'll talk about uh, the round two in a minute. But honestly, this first three weeks was amazing. I think as of today, I lost a little over three pounds. And I'm gonna say I was kind of, you know, a little upset about only losing three pounds. But think about it. I lost over three pounds, just a little over three pounds in three weeks. Like that's amazing. This workout, this program this is only a three week program. And for that means I lost at least a pound a week. That is a really healthy range. I have to remember, this is stuff that I tell you guys all the time, a pound to two pounds a week is a really amazing goal. It is the goal we wanted. So in the three weeks, I did really, really good. I have to start thinking, you know, in that way, I don't have a lot of weight to lose. I have some fluff, yes, of course. I have still some little mom pouch um, that comes and goes, depending on how good I'm eating, and it's going down. So I am very happy with the results that I have. I'm so in love with this program. I'm ready to do it again. Um, and But that's why I said I'm like, I'm happy with my results, but I'm not satisfied because I know I can push myself even more and see even more results and feel more empowered and more strong because the better I feel, the better I am for my kids, the better I am for my husband, the better I am for you guys so that I can keep pushing you guys to be the better of you. So you, we can be happy. There's happy with our results, but we can never stop. We can never be satisfied. We have to keep going and being obsessed with making our lives the best way that we want. So that's where I'm at right now. Week three is done. I upped my weights on some of the workouts. The last round, I wanted to go really, really fast, so I lowered my weights. If you saw my live video, like a few, not a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago I, with the burnout, I went to 12.5s. Like that's really low for me, and but I wanted to try to you know get the rounds out, go fast, 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 fast as I could. Um, so got that done, did the ab workout. I actually added a little ankle weights to get a little bit more um, ab because I can tell you guys, I have gotten so much stronger since the beginning. There were moves in that ab workout that I couldn't do. Like I had to go back into the modifier because um, I had a weaker core. But today I was able to put ankle wakes because I have gotten stronger. And that is the most important. The stronger you get, then everything else starts to fall in place. So round two starts on Monday for the test group. 
There's a whole new uh, new set of new coaches that got invited, which is awesome. Um, I haven't really decided if I'm gonna do the official test group for round two because we are going on vacation on the third week. And it's gonna be really, really hard to stay on track with the diet and with the workouts because I won't have access to weights and where we're going. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with that. But I definitely, if I can, if I'm allowed to, I'll still be doing two weeks, the, you know, week, the two weeks, first two weeks of round two, because it's a different, a little different schedule. Then the third week will be when Sean, the Sean week, and I'm sure I can do that while I don't need weights, because <clears throat> Sean usually has more body weight. So I'll do that while I'm on vacation, then come back and do the hell week, week three, which is the workouts go to 50 minutes. So I'm thinking I might do that. I'm not sure, I'll let you guys know for sure. You guys know, I'll let you guys know what I'm doing. Tomorrow I will do my official weigh-in, measurements and pictures, and I'll share that. Um, I'm telling you guys, I cannot wait for you guys to get this workout and try it, because it really is, not only does, is it change, gonna change your body, because it is. If you stick to the workouts and you do the meal plan and you follow it, you are definitely going to get a shift in your body. But it is just empowering to know that that you're getting stronger each time and you don't get bored. You definitely are not. If you're like me that gets bored from workouts pretty easily, you will not get bored from this workout. I think my family is waking up. I was able to do all this before they woke up. It was awesome. So I hope you guys all have a great Saturday. Post a pic of your sweaty pic. Did you work out? It is a three weekend. Oh my God, Memorial Weekend. Are you guys doing anything? Are you hosting a party or are you going to a party? I know we're gonna be having a little get together tomorrow. Um, definitely going to treat myself tomorrow, but I'm not gonna go overboard, but it's gonna be fun. And uh, I hope you guys have a safe and happy Memorial Weekend, but get your workout in. And don't forget, even though it's a three day weekend, you still got a meal plan. Love to see that. Talk to you later. If you got want more information, information in joining my um, prep group for shift shop and Sean week please comment below click on the link on this video and I can get the information and so you can join us right away talk to you guys later bye